Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you guys a really easy and chill way to make money in the Elder Scrolls Online using the new High Isle DLC. So this is something that I do in between like games of Tales of Tribute or if I'm just generally like waiting for five or ten minutes on something happening, I'll just go here and farm these. Uh, it's a pretty good way to make money um, passively and you're not really putting in a lot of effort at all or brain power. What we're going to be doing today is farming for clams. So obviously if you don't know essentially high up in a little island okay it's got a lot of clam spawns and what we can get from there essentially is clam gall and powder mother of pearl both of these are like a thousand five hundred each on my server anyway and then you also get some other bits and bobs that are worth a little bit of money so what we'll do then is we'll do a full run here we'll see roughly how long it takes me we're going to see how much money i make in one run and we're going to see how many runs we could pack into an hour and then we can just see how much money we would make per hour with this method okay so there's a couple of things that are going to speed this up for you dramatically, okay? So the first thing is using the Ring of the Wild Hunt if you can be bothered to, you know, get one from Scrying. I'm making it in the Swift trait, okay? So it's going to give you in and around 52% bonus movement speed. So it just makes this a lot faster because you're running faster. The second thing would be is to use Race Against Time. The skill just boosts your speed by about 30% again. So just to make you run a bit faster again, get you between the clams faster so you can make more money per hour. And then there's a couple of green CPs you want to use, okay? So a couple of these are quite important and you definitely need them if you're going to be farming these. So the first one is Master Gatherer. This reduces your time to harvest by 50% at max level. So definitely want to get that. Plentiful Harvest, again, this gives you a 50% chance of getting double the loot. That's going to be really profitable and really obviously help your money if you're getting double the loot. So always have that slotted. And then the last one you really need is the Steed's Blessing. So... This is again 20% movement speed just to make you go between them all faster, okay? So I'd also definitely use the Kenai passives for alchemy and jewelry crafting, okay? So the alchemy one is going to make all the clams glow, so it's going to make them really easy to see and it's going to save you a lot of time in searching. And the other one is obviously just so as you can see platinum seams. Um, they're then going to glow and you can just pick those up there again. Pretty good source of money and there's a few along this route. So where we're going to start this run is pretty much just the southern beach of High Isle, okay? So we're right beside this little lighthouse. All we're going to do is just come here and just run along the beach, uh, going left up, okay? So essentially there's going to be a lot of clams here. I think there's probably like 30 clams on your way past. As far as I'm aware, it takes me around about 7 minutes to do this entire loop once. So I'm going to speed up some of the footage and just show you guys uh, essentially the loop from the clams. I don't want to be wasting too much of your time showing you like everything in like real time. So I want to speed up some of the clips by like 200%. So again, in these clams, you can get all kinds of things. So you can get like clam gold, uh, pot of mother pearl, that's the main things. You also get some junk, like you get some baits, you get some random treasures. And you get the, you know, just generic little water hands there, things like that. But these all add up eventually. So if you're doing this for a couple of hours, you're going to get a few stacks of these things. And, you know, they do add up eventually. And I'll show you a spreadsheet of the profit we made from this one run afterwards okay we're also going to come into contact with like a couple of like ads you have to kill there's not that many there's maybe two or three spots where you have to kill an ad you can simply just avoid those spots by going a little bit wide and missing one or two clams it's up to you so if you want a character that doesn't really fight or doesn't have very many levels you literally can't avoid all these people but uh i find it easier just to run through them and smash their heads in that's uh, completely up to you guys Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit quiet now just so you guys can see the full run, okay? I'm going to try not to cut any of it. I'm just going to try and speed some little bits up so you can see, again, it's a full run. No cuts. I'm not editing things that look better or look worse or whatever. I'm just uh, doing a full run. So, yeah, we're back with you guys in like a couple of minutes and I'll go over the spreadsheet at the end and just uh, show you guys the profitability of this.
Okay, so whenever we get to the end of the run, it's going to be around here, just sort of on the uh, top left section of high L, okay? I would pretty much just teleport back to the main way shrine and uh, come back here because there's not much point in continuing on. There's quite a lot of uh, rocky terrain there. Not many clams on up north, so you just want to go and reset the uh, entire run and go again, okay? But overall, that run took us about seven minutes to do, okay? And if we are looking at all the loot we have here, I have a spreadsheet, okay? So I'm going to go over this and show you guys all the profit. So we got five clam galls, so that was 7,500 profit. We got seven Pageant Mother of Pearls, that was 10,500 profit. We got two of the little clam treasures, which is 500 coins. And that's sort of all the big stuff that you would kind of care about. The rest of the stuff is kind of trash that adds up over a while. So you see, it doesn't seem like it's worth a lot, but it will add up to be a fair amount of money over time. So we got 16 Alkahist, and that is going to be 600 coins. We got six worms and that's going to be 300 coins. We got four water high sims, that's 280 coins. Three fish row, that's going to be 390 coins. Eight guts, 240 coins. And we got five fish row, which is uh, 125 coins. So overall, in that seven minute run, we made 20,443 coins. So whenever we're looking at that, all we're going to do then basically is take 60 minutes. So one hour, divide that by seven. And that's going to bring us to in and around 8.5. So we're going to do 8.5 times 20,443. That's going to roughly give us 175,000 per hour. Just from doing this with this luck, okay? So obviously, you can make a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how lucky you are with the clams. But that's uh, pretty much the average you're going to get. It's not a bad way to make money as well. It's just really easy, really passive. You know, anyone can do it with a high LDL. So you can be level three and start this method. And it's also just something you can do in between games of like Tales of Tribute. That's personally why I use it. I queue for Tales of Tribute and then like a two minutes or so while I'm waiting for a game, I'll go farm all the clams. And it's also like a little bit RNG as well. So you're guaranteed the same thing every time you farm a platinum node, you get like three or six platinum. Whereas with this, you know, you can farm and you can get, you know, kind of like what's like good loot. So you can get Clam Gold, Part of Mother of Pearl. Um, and it just feels nice when you get one of those. It feels a bit lucky. So it just uh, breaks it up a little bit. It's not as monotonous as doing the uh, the Rubidai farm and platinum farm. But yeah, anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like on it. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you next time.